Greetings, fencers. So the next two verses are still in the thwart cut section and are about Phelan, which is translated as failing or fainting. Those two words can be interchanged, but I actually want to separate those two words and define them differently in order to emphasize the point of a failure. A feint is a deliberate choice to make a technique that would not harm, whereas failing is a reaction to your opponent. It is making a technique that would harm, but if your opponent moves to block it, you let the cut fail without touching and strike to another opening. This changes the mentality of these two words. These are in the thwart section because it has the flat plane leading to a fast rotation, but can be done with any type of attack. The first verse is... Make a cut and when you see your opponent move to parry and doesn't threaten you, strike to another opening. The opposite opening is the hardest for them to reach. Switching low to high has a better success rate. It can be done in a hard stop motion or a smooth rotation. It can also be done twice if they use an extreme parry again. If they parry, you always have the option to double behind their blade with a cut or slice. The goal is that you don't want the blades to touch on the fail. When the blades touch, they give information, and your opponent is more likely to think they parried and try to take the before, leading to a double hit. You need to understand this only works if someone uses basic parrying or cuts at your sword. If someone parries with a cut or with the point, it will be unsafe to feint or fail. Something that I've caught myself doing and seen many fencers do is almost never make the first thwart real. If someone notices this, they can easily cut at your hands or interrupt your cuts. Make sure you devote time to your first thwart and make it a strong cut that has a chance of hitting. Only have striking around as a secondary action. This is a good partner drill for practicing failing. You can start off without stepping and slowly progress the drill faster and faster with stepping. It's about reacting to your opponent. Make a proper thwart. If your partner doesn't parry, it will hit. If your partner does parry, then fail and cut around. Either you hit or he parries, and you fail again. The drill can end on the first cut or continue a ways. The goal is to not let the blades touch, which is often quoted by the old masters and significantly said by Joachim Meyer. I'm going to make a secondary video to this that will briefly go through my system for safe fainting. The main three things are observing, distance, and cancelling. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing.